Hey, and welcome to Star Wars 101. In this video, we're going to be talking about the little bit of information that we know of from the Plagueis novel about Darth Tenebris' master. So let's dive in. Darth Tenebris' master was a Twi'lek Dark Lord of the Sith that reigned during the final centuries of the Republic. We know so little about this particular Dark Lord that we don't even have a name for him. This Dark Lord, like many before him, followed the path of Darth Bane and held to his rule of two restricting the Sith to one master and one apprentice in order to prevent a Dark Lord from taking on many apprentices that would inevitably unite their strength to defeat their master out of lust for power, weakening the Sith Order. The Twilight Dark Lord took on a Bith male named Rugis Gnome as his apprentice and named him Darth Tenebris. The Dark Lord and his apprentice worked hard to further the Sith Grand Plan to destroy the Jedi and take over the Republic. During the Twi'lek's time, the Sith didn't have their great plan to use a clone army and everything else we see in the prequels. Instead, the Dark Lord and Tenebris were trying a different method. The Twi'lek and his apprentice worked for years to develop a virus that would target and sever a Jedi's connection to the Force, making the Order helpless to the power of the Sith. However, the Dark Lord and Tenebris eventually abandoned the idea because not only could they not figure out exactly how to make it work, but they also wouldn't be able to stop the virus from infecting them as well. His biggest contribution, however, was that at some point in time, the Sith Lord opened a rift in the Force, allowing the Jedi to sense the dark side of the Force for the first time in eight centuries, since the Battle of the New Sith Wars. Tenebris's master taught him much about the Force, which Tenebris viewed as simple. Tenebris eventually came to believe that the Force was just an energy source he could manipulate to his will. After reading the prophecies in the Journal of the Wills regarding the Chosen One, Tenebris was determined to use a variation of Essence Transfer to take over the body of the Chosen One at the moment of the being's birth. Around 167 years before the Battle of Yavin, when Tenebris' calculations for his new plans were complete, he killed his master. So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did, then make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of the little information we know of this Dark Lord. And with all that said, have a great day.